daughters. They're, they're very typically, you know, they straight having daughters. Mm. Know, yeah. Full dad sort of go, oh, Jesus. When they hit certain ages. Shotgun. Shotgun territory. I mean, yeah. for me, I work with them. I work with MG, who's six foot six, you know, man mountain and so forth. And I've been so impressed with him over the last six months or so when his oldest daughter is just starting to date, you know, and she's a proper woman now. Like, she's left school, she's got herself a job, and she's got herself her first full time boyfriend. I remember when MG came in one day and he said, Oh, you know, said the boyfriend's name. You know, big deep breath. And I said, "How are you going?" You know, he's got, he goes, "Well, he's coming over Wednesday night for a family feed, and I'm going to meet him for the first time." And I said, "Well, is it going to be that sort of you know Hollywood moment where he, you know he knocks on the door and you go there with the shotgun and go, right, oh, mate, we need to have a chat?" Because of course we're remembering back to being 16, 17, 18. You know, I mean, what's on our mind? Not necessarily, you know, going all the way with a girl, but certainly having a kiss and a grope and a bit of fun and whatever. You know was very much part of being fourth form, six, fifth form, sixth form at school. So I've got two girls and I just, I'm just horrified at the whole thought of some little kid, no matter how nice he is, he could come from the nicest home with the great parents and he could have all the great morals, he's going to be trying to kiss my daughter or touch her in areas where I'm not going to be happy about it. So, I mean, it's much easier being a, a, a father of a son, I think, you know. I don't know why that is. I have this argument with my wife quite often is, she goes, well, what about the poor girls that Jack might be trying to kiss or touch up or whatever it might be? And I'm like, yeah, that's okay. You know, I mean, it's complete double standards, I know. But somehow it's easier for me thinking, because Jack, I know, is a good boy. and He'll be, he'll be a respectful boyfriend and whatever. I just can't imagine these other little kids. They're all going to be grubs, the ones that are trying to, trying to kiss my daughters, you know. And my, my, my daughters are just, they're princesses, mate. So, you know, like, I just want to, I just want to, Put them in a nunnery until they're like 40, until I've, I'm so senile that I've forgotten that I've got daughters and then they can do whatever they like. But the thought of it just horrifies me. It really does. And pretty, pretty much the moment my daughters came out of the womb, it was like, oh my God, I've got daughters. Damn it. You know, because I was just worried about, because I know what little grubs, little boys can be. Because I was that grub, you know what I mean? And you were probably that grub too. Like we're all, it's natural, you know, you feel for a girl, you see them, you fancy them, and you just want to kiss them or whatever, and it's like, <sighs> it's not going to be easy.